still building screens one by one, let me show you how to create an entire product flow in seconds with just one click using UX Pilot Autoflow feature. In this video, I will walk you through how it works. Then I will show you two advanced ways to level up your workflow by combining it with ChatGPT and FigJam. If you are designing apps, this will save you serious time and help you move from idea to wireframe faster. Let's dive in. All right, today we are going to look at how you can generate an entire app flow in just one click using UX Pilot. Then I will show you two bonus workflow for going even deeper. Perfect if you are planning complex products or want more control over your information architecture. Okay, I'm in UX Pilot now. I select wireframe, standard model, and let's create desktop application. I open one moment at prompt. This is the prompt, a financial app that helps users manage their money by tracking income, expense, and spending habits. Basically, we will create a financial application that helps users manage their incomes and their spending. So I click on update context. Now on the right menu, I go down and here you have a button called auto flow. So once I click on it, UX Pilot will generate many screens. You can select between them, add more screens, delete some of the options. And when you're ready, you can click on generate and UX Pilot will create all the screens in one click. So I will click now on auto flow and you can see that UX Pilot created for us many screens. Let's read the first one. Main dashboard displaying an overview of income, expense, and spending habits, along with insights and statics for users to manage their finance activity. Below, we have a screen that displaying a detailed list of transactions. We have below screens for manually adding transactions, and you can see more and more screens. If I go up one moment, you can see that the main dashboard is the main screen. It's marked here with a tag. I go one moment down. I can move the screens. You can see like that. And in the case I want to eliminate one screen, I can click here and the screen will eliminate it. And in the case you want to add another screen, you can click on add screen, write a description for the screen. And then once you click on generate, it will create also this screen. And now let's click on generate. Now you expect to create all the screens for us. In total, we have six screens and you can see how it was easy to generate all the screens. Basically, I just described the screens I want and then click on generate and now it's working to generate all the screens. And by the way, if you want to use your expired, I will leave a link in the description below. Now let's back. It's finished the work. Let's make zoom in to see all the screens. You can see here the homepage dashboard. We have left menu and also as always summary of information as many dashboard has. If I go to transactions, you can see the page of the transactions. Here we have the page of the incomes. And be aware that on the left menu also you have the screen that we generate like dashboard, transactions, income sources. Let's move to the bill management. You can see it here, spending insights. And at the end we have the settings. And you can see how it was easy to generate these six screens only by one click. Now, if you want to think more strategically before generating, I will show you one tip that I do with ChatGPT. So let's move one moment to ChatGPT. Here in ChatGPT, I write a description of the app. You can see it here. I said to Chat, read the app description and I wrote the description of the app. Then below, I write to ChatGPT, now create the 10 screens this app must have, write the page name and the short description, think deep before answering. And then it's created for me this list. You can see it here. The first page is onboarding and source link and the propose it's writing here. Now this is okay, but basically now if I want to copy and paste to your expert, it's a little bit annoying because the title and the description, it's not one below the other. I ask it to organize in a list. Now, once it's in a list, it's much easier for me to copy and paste from ChatGPT to UX Pilot. So I can select here the onboarding, copy, and now in UX Pilot, I go below, click on add screens, paste, and here is the onboarding page that ChatGPT suggests us to create. If I back one moment to ChatGPT, Chat created for us 10 screens, but you continue to talk with ChatGPT and ask it for more screen, for less screen. Maybe you want to focus on one part of the application and then you can have more ideas about the screens you generate. So the difference is like in your experience, you click auto flow and it gives you many screens. With ChatGPT, you can talk with the chat and then give more specific directions for the screens you want to generate. Now, in the case you want to plan an entire app architecture, 
and then generate with you expired, it is also possible. So let's one moment move to another page of ChatGPT. You can see the page here. I write again, read the app description and after that write OK. And below, I ask ChatGPT to create a sitemap diagram with all the app pages. And then it's created for me. You can see here a list of all the screens ChatGPT think that this application should include. You can see here mind map, route, onboarding, welcome, the sign in, login, the navigation, and all the information. It's a very long list. And what I will do now, I will copy it and go to Figjam and then on Figjam paste it and create an information architecture map. So let's copy it. I select all the information, command C to copy, and then let's go to Figjam. Now let's open the UX Pilot Figjam plugin. Click here. UX Pilot and here the plugin of UX Pilot. And by the way, if you don't know, a part of the application of UX Pilot, it says also Figma plugin. So in the case you want to work directly in Figma, you can do it. You can create screens or modify screens. And if you're in Figma, you have some options here like creating a diagram. You can see it here. Let's click on it. What I will do now, I will paste all the information we copied from ChatGPT. Let's click on generate. And now it's create for us a diagram with all the pages. You can see here the result. I make zoom in and you can see all the information that we copied from ChatGPT here in the diagram. I make zoom in. You can see category budgets and we have entertainments, others. I go up utilities. We have food. Let's make zoom out. And here, for example, we have subscriptions like manage active subscriptions, price change, cancellation helper and more stuff. So basically, you can see that we take all the information ChatGPT created for us based on FigJam and with UX Pilot plugin created this diagram with one click. Now, once you have the diagram, you can start and play with that and think more strategically about the screens you want to add to your application. Once you are OK, you can take this information, copy to UX Pilot and generate all the application. So, for example, if you want to add manage active subscription, you can take the title of the page and below write what is included and a little bit more information. So in that case, you need to work a little bit with your hand. I mean, not only copy and paste and get something from the tool, but this is the more correct way to work, to think before generate. And then your generation, it's much more accurate to your needs. So to sum it all up, there are two ways to generate screens in your expired. First, use Autoflow for fast one-click screen generation. Second, use ChatGPT to brainstorm and refine your app flow. And third, use ChatGPT with FigJam to map out and visualize your full product architecture. No matter which method you go with, you will set ton of time and get way more clearly on how your product is structured. Heads up before we go. Remember that generating screens does use credit. So take a few moments to plan things out before you click generate. It will help you to get the most out of every run. And that's all for this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. See you on the next one. Take care.